Three, two, one. <laughs> really, Ellie? <laughs> Okay, so how are you guys doing? Good. All right, so let's talk about life for a minute here. Yeah. How is life going for you guys? Good. Good? Ollie, you're five now. Yeah? I'm ten now. You're ten now. You're strong now, Ollie. Yeah, look at you. Ollie was always Mr. strong. Mr. Dinosaur Man, you're strong now. How you feeling about being five? Use your words. He's making a big muscle. You feel strong? Like stronger than you've ever been before? Yeah. Yeah? Stronger than Hulk. I can stronger than the Hulk. Wow, that's that's pretty strong, right? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling, Ollie, Ivy? How are you feeling? Mommy, if your shin ten? would be uh, a little bit of green, you can hold a car and you can throw it. Okay. Now let's give Ivy the floor. Okay. So you feel taller? Yeah. You feel taller? Yeah. Really? Like like before, like some Ivy, things used to be at me eye level, muscles. but now some things aren't at eye level. And Ollie wants to see my muscles for some reason. Gotta move over my shirt because it's long sleeve and comfortable. How you make a muscle, Oliver? You put your arm up, you bend it, make a fist, and pump your muscle. So it looks like you guys feel stronger and taller than you ever have before in your life. Yeah, I'm taller. Like some things that were at eye level are now slightly above, uh, slightly lower than eye level. Oh, okay. It's interesting that you notice that. That's really subtle, but, like, you're noticing it. I think part of you being Mommy? able to notice that is that, Mommy? like, your life Mommy? is in the same place. Mommy? You don't move around. Mommy? Like, when I was little, I lived in different houses and Mommy? went to different schools. So Mommy? everything was always changing. So I never got to notice my change Mommy? because I was always adapting to my external change. Mommy? You have, you know, stable environment. So you get to compare, like, oh, last year I couldn't reach this thing in the cupboard. Now I can. Without a step stool. Yeah. Before I had to look up to see this thing, now it's eye level or below. Like, that must be a really cool experience. It is. Wow. I feel like I'm super sane. You feel like you're super sane? Yeah. From turning five? Yeah. What? Like That's a crazy sane. growth story. In case you don't know what that means... That's something from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I know what that is. In case you didn't is. know what that means. I know what that is. But our listeners yeah. might not know. I know I was telling the listeners. And Oliver is going super sane right now. Yeah. Is your, and your hair is gold, too. Look at that. You have wow. gold hair now. Do we need to make all your hair gold, not just parts of it, because you're super sane? Daddy would be shocked if he came home and your hair was all gold. Yeah. And I make a t-shirt for you to say, I'm now Super Sane. <laughs> hey, would you want to oh, be Super Sane? Speaking character? of hair colors. Yes. Halloween? Yes. Speaking of hair colors, your hair color is really pretty. Thank you. I finally got the color I wanted. Uh, it took me like a year and a half to get it. Maybe two years. And it's gray on the top and dark emerald green in the back. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's so not an. Really it's not a gray green ombre. It's gray in the front and gray in the green back. in the back. No, green in the green back. in the back. The front is growing out in a bit of a natural to gray ombre. I'm okay with that because I don't, you know, I don't want to have that like stark line. Oh, you I know, know, I want it to look more natural. I want to have some natural hair color too when I dye my hair. Yeah, because like I want to still have my natural hair color. So you I mean like natural it. ombre, not natural color? Because your yeah. hair is red and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy and Oliver's hair is now dark brown, gold, and dark blue. Mommy, did you know if you're any character from the game called? Dragon Ball C. No, I don't can, know any characters from there. Except you, for Vegeta, who you keep talking about all the time. Well, you can fly underwater. Yeah. Do you know that Dragon Ball Z has been a part of my childhood? Mm -hmm. That Dragon Ball Z has been around for that long? 
probably even longer. I, I don't know for sure because I'm not I'm not a fan I'm not part of the fandom and never really liked it because it meant that people were ignoring me instead of hanging out and playing with me so you know I just whew, too much but um, now that both my partner and my son are into Dragon Ball Z I I'm don't know partially into it you're partially into it yeah darn this means I'm gonna have to get into the saga too all right I will get Daddy's comic books and I'll start reading. And if I'm into it from the comic book, then, then I'll you're look most at the show. I'm going to be interested in the show. And if I'm so into the mommy, show, I'll play the video game. Mommy, That's, like how about How's that I for a growth like, story? I feel like get, video game would come first. Yeah. <laughs> video game always comes first. Mommy, video games frustrate me too mommy, much. Did you Why? know there's blue and red Super Saiyans? No, I did not know there was different color Super Saiyans. I thought Super Saiyans were all gold. Well, nope, sometimes their hair will turn blue. Nasa, did okay. you know? That's new to me. Vegeta. Not Vegeta. Vegeta. Ch- that, that was Vegeta. No, no it's a V. Vegeta. 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 Speaking of pronunciation. And also, when you're fighting in the game, Vegeta and Goku combined. Mm hmm. What so video Goku games frustrate me because Oliver. Video games frustrate me because um you try to do something and then like you keep failing and failing and failing. And like they it's so hard that like I can't get through a, a level. And I'm not playing a video game to get through a struggle. Like life for me is enough Thank of a wanna- struggle. Like I'm not lacking, you know, the 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 rush or the entertainment like of struggle, like, right? Like I was struggle like entertaining. Like I mean, that's what video games is. It's like you struggle to beat the big mommy. boss. That's not fun. If you if you never beat the big boss and you keep dying, you never have a sense of accomplishment. So for me to play video games where I never get a sense of accomplishment just feels like why real life the boss, so i don't want to I I, it's not fun for me to get away from the struggle of real life by having a virtual struggle and mommy, i like games where i'm building i'm creating i get to express my creative side i get to do the things that bias and discrimination in the world prevent me from doing that's why i like vr that's why i like games because I get to finally express oh, myself. Like, now, if you're going to ask me to oh, struggle mommy, and try like, to overcome mommy, something that's impossible, mommy, like, mommy, I'm already living that video game. Mommy, it's called my life. Mommy, why you to play the... Um, you lost your train of thought? Yeah. Okay, so how about we switch the subject? From video games, okay? Okay, so... Do you like everything is awesome? Because what? you can create things and build things. Where? That's a Lego game. That's just fighting and trying to... Com- well, I don't know if it's fighting, but isn't that just like trying to complete puzzles and stuff like that? And mysteries and missions? No. I never see you create anything. In the you Lego can like games? build like vehicles and stuff. Oh. But there's only like fifteen vehicles and fifty buildings. Yeah, no. I'm good. I like something that's more detailed and intricate and takes a long time to do. Not like a really long time, like I get satisfaction in one session, but like it's something that I can keep building all the time. Like the Sims. Mm-hmm. And you were saying something about Minecraft now? Yeah. So Minecraft has a creative mode where you have access to all the building stuff, all the tools, everything. Hmm. And, and you can build me, whatever you want. And mommy also, if the monsters come, they'll hit you, but only in survival mode. Like the creepers? Yeah. Yeah, the creepers. And the zombies Watch and out. fighters. Well, luckily, they don't explode your builds when you're in sur- I no, need not the survival creeper. creative, because... That's how it was coded. Okay. Well, okay. I need the 
creeper, a flower, and and there's the mold. and there's also a new bu building material called old cherry wood. So now you can do like cherry woods, cherry planks. Now you can add like a splash of pink to your builds if you want. So there's a lot more going on in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's Mommy, a lot going on. Did you I'm... know there's a Jenny monster? No. That's called a slime. I guess next it's week like then, since, you know, and I saw the slime. you said that this is going to be and gaming saw... time with me. Mm -hmm. I'll be, next I week we do Minecraft. Because awesome. Ivy doesn't see it in the game. It's because it's just the world with the green grass. I don't see slimes because they usually spawn in like swamp biomes. Mm -hmm. And I haven't come across a swamp naturally. So there's different biomes too? Yeah, there's snowy biomes, cherry biomes, desert biomes. Uh, <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> ocean biomes. <laughs> Jungle biomes. There's a lot of different biomes. Okay. With a lot of different mobs. Some passive, some not. And mommy, did you know? Uh, up? And mommy also last time I found lava and water. Mm? And I saw new octopuses. Okay. Oh, like, those are squids in the games. They only have squids in the games. Squid. Yeah. That's okay. Squid almost look like octopus, so that's mm -hmm. it. That's a innocent mistake. And they well, have nice little googly eyes. Mm -hmm. And also, I like the glow squids. They're cute. Or the glow squids are cute. Ah, Although, sadly, they don't ser serve much of a purpose in the game. And also, like, you can huh? get a glow ink sign and make your signs glow, but that doesn't mm -hmm. really do much. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, back to the topic of everyday life and growing Wait, up. Mommy? Yes, mommy? video games are a part of our lives, but also Wait, right mommy? now we're doing something else new. Mommy? We are learning a new language. Mommy? We're learning Espanol. Espanol. Mommy? Me amo mommy? mami. Mama. Me amo madre. Mommy? Si. <laughs> Como estas? Como estas? Como es? Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Estoy bien. Estoy bien. Estoy sí. bien. Sí. Soy bien. Soy bien. <laughs> Wait, mommy? Yeah. So what are, what are some, some hey, Spanish huh? words that you remember that you've been Ooh, learning? I want to say a, a funny sentence. Okay. El mm -hmm. champion. El champion. Y, y el pan. El pan. The champion eats... No, 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 no. El no. champion y pen. What's that? Mushrooms and bread. That's what champion is? El oh, champion. wow. I thought it was like champion because, you know, there's a lot of French no. words that are English. No, it, it means mushroom. Okay. Interesting. Um, Say it again. El champion y el pen. And that means? Mushrooms and, and bread. bread. Sweet. Mommy? Yes. Yes. Can you can we have a croissant? Yeah. Just say it in Espanol. 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 I think it's something like Yo quiero. Yo quiero el pan. I want what? bread. I Yo want the bread. El pan. I think it's I want the bread. Tu quiere. Tu quiere. El pan. A pan. Can you say tu I want bread? bread? If you want oh. to say yes, you oh. say okay. si. 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 Can you say I like eggs? Do you know how to say I like eggs? Uh, I like eggs. Yo. Yo. Uh, yo. Yo, yo. Uh, um, no, I don't know the word for like. Okay. I know eggs is huevos. Mm -hmm. You are 
farting on my belly with your mouth, silly my goose. Enjoy, still feliz. Si. Bien. Yo estoy feliz. What? Tu estoy feliz? Tu estoy feliz. Tu estoy feliz. Are you are you feliz? Are you happy? Say sí, mamá. Sí. 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 El niño estoy feliz. El niño estoy feliz. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I know how to say that one. Okay. El perro. El perro. Oh, Do you know how to say rabbit yet? No. Okay. I feel like we need to find like the most popular words that we use most often, right? And then uh. learn the Spanish for it so that we can know the words that are part of our life and then know the verbs and the conjugations. Cookie. I'm trying not to learn Spanish from an academic okay. perspective because I've been in Spanish class, I've been in Italian class. And from an academic perspective, it doesn't teach you how to speak a language. Like, you don't learn English from an academic perspective. You learn English from the people around you saying the words, you know, you're associating them with objects and actions that you want the people around you to, that the people around you want you to do. And as a baby, you don't understand, but you hear it enough, then you understand. And then you learn how to enunciate by the people around you constantly correcting you. Like when Oliver says, Vegeta, and we all say, V, Vegeta, V, Vegeta. It's a V, 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 right? And so we're even teaching him how to read by saying, it's a V, the sound of V is V, right? And then you know that when something sounds like V or Vegeta, right? Or vocabulary or no, vocation. Vo it's like vocabulary into or vocabulary. Like but, you, but you know, but you or know, some it's vocabulary. vocabulary. But you know or that it's a V and a vowel, right? Or the sound, the sound of or vanilla, vegeta, vocation. Voluptuous. Oh, Verified. Oh, like Valor. Like nullifications. Like I said, we... Very. Mm. Variety. Variety. V variants. Vegeta. You <laughs> know all of these sounds are V-A, right? V-A? And you know it's not B-A. It's v -a -v -a -v -a. So you can see it, the letters. You can hear the sound and you can associate them, Right? But that's not an academic perspective. Academic perspectives. Here's a bunch of words. Memorize them. This word. Here's a bunch of concepts. Word, memorize them. This thing, this thing, this thing. Memorize them. And as unschoolers, we do things differently, right? So hopefully we can take these lessons of how we learned to speak English and learn to speak Espanol. Espanol. En français. Espanol. Y China. Y China. Uh, and Hindi. And Hindi. Yeah? Yeah. And Russian, too. We should learn to speak Russian. All right. Anything else that y'all want to talk about in terms of this new life that you're living as five and ten-year-olds? No. Nothing else new? Pizza. Just muscles, taller, pizza. stronger? Oh, now you like pizza? And now you like pizza. You tried something new and yeah. ended up enjoying it. Yeah, I just didn't like the the sauce too much. But I still ate it. Okay. But you yeah, like pepperoni. That's pigs. Yeah, pepperoni is pigs. Yeah. And Ivy is Oh, a I vegan. thought that was cow. I thought pepperoni was cow. No, it's pig. It's pork. Oh. And also pepperoni tastes good. Have you even ever ate pepperoni, Ollie? Um, Oliver is a vegan who's experimenting with different foods. You went through the same phase. You were like, you were raised vegan, uvo vegan, and um, you got to a certain age, around four or five, where you're just like, what's that, chicken? Mommy, can I taste it? And of course, I let you taste it. I'm not going to deny you, because what I've learned is that people who were raised vegan and vegetarian, and like when they, when they became curious, 
Their parents denied them, and then they OD'd in life and got away from the healthy upbringing of being vegetarian and vegan. And so they OD'd, and they ended up being, like, overweight and having and health problems because they went so extreme vegan. away from <laughs> the healthy lifestyle. So my whole thing is, if you're curious, when you're curious, I let you try it. And you tried it, and then you got to the point where you had your experimentation phase, and then you sat down and you said to us, I declare that I'm a vegan. And, that was and we were like, we respect this. This is the choice that you made. Like you were about seven or eight when you made the choice to be fully no, vegan. No, I think I was younger. Younger? Yeah, I think That's I was That's when you like stopped six. eating eggs altogether and you were like, nope, I'm just going to be pure vegan. I think that was when I was like six. When you were six. Okay, so then it was seven or eight where you kind of you kind of relaxed on pure vegan and became uvo vegan. So, you know, if you like pizza, you can continue to eat pizza. It makes you more vegetarian now than vegan, which is not a bad thing. But if you want to remain vegan and eat pizza, we can explore more nut cheeses. I would love to explore more nut cheeses for pizza. Not that yet. It's nasty. But like cashew cheese, oat cheese, different like nut bases mm -hmm. for cheeses so we can have vegan pizza, you and me. What was the first vegan cheese that we had on vegan pizza? Uh, cashew cheese. Okay. That cheese is not good. It did not taste good. When was this? I don't, I don't remember, but we went to, like, this pizza restaurant. And oh, got... no, that was Daya. That was not cashew cheese. Oh. That was... That was Daya? Yeah. That, okay. was, that, was, Daya. that was... That was horrible. Oh, oh my yeah. God. It was so not good. It was disgusting. Yeah. And also, last time when they put good cheese in it, it tasted good. Mm -hmm. It tasted, like, nothing. It don't taste like nothing. Cheese it's got like a like salty, creamy, nut, not nutty. Well, you it's just salty, it's creamy. Oh, and also? Sometimes bitter, sometimes funky, sometimes umami flavor. Mm -hmm. And also, the cheese did not super stretch because it's not the ads. <laughs> yeah, so that that was not cashew cheese. That I was Daya. Guess Which, what? like, I'm I'm an advocate of like, if you're vegan, don't try to substitute your food for like, like, like meat based foods. You I should appreciate the taste okay. guess of what? vegetables and fruits, right? Mm -hmm. But that, that thing, <laughs> no, no, no. There's many other there's nut cheeses. To to. Yeah, I've had many a other lot. nut cheeses we can try. I've had a lot of different cashew cheeses, and they were delicious. Diet is not. Dye, it's too much. I think it's like too much chemical processing. I think that's what it is. It's not. It's not natural. It's like just people. what chemicals can we put and flavonoids can we put together to try to assimilate this flavor and they don't even come close. Like, like not even the close. Diet cheese. Like it tastes like what I imagine paper would taste like. Oh, uh, to me, I think paper tastes better. Like, yeah, paper would probably taste better. <laughs> At least, at least give me a neutral, bland flavor as opposed to something yeah. just like, what? Ah, you can't identify what it is from just tasting it. All right, so how about we read some Every books? Every guess what? Okay. Every guess what? What? Chickies. All right, time for some Poor storytelling. Chickies. Stirring from their cozy bunks as their space station bedroom, couple of window fills with the sunrise, rainbow glare. Danielle, now 10 years old, stretched out her arms. Her eyes widened with amazement. Look, David, she exclaimed. I think I've grown. My pajama pants aren't short, are short like capris with my and my shirt won't cover my belly button. David, her energetic brother, now five years old, jumped up to turn on the lights to see better. As he reached up, his mind was blown away. He didn't need to tiptoe. David, bouncing with excitement, yelled, Me too! I can touch the light switch and soon the stars. Near their space, T 
decontamination bedroom door, their mom had drawn a special wall of milestones with lines, names, and ages. David suggested they check their height. Danielle pointed, look, last year I was here. Now I'm here, four inches taller than last year. David, with a twinkle in his eye, said, and look, I'm the first one to be five years old in this house. Danielle, counting birthday money, muttered, want to bet who will be looking over whose head when we're older and stop growing? Feeling a mix of frustration and amusement while shifting through her clothes, Danielle found her pants now look like they belong to a fairy and her shirts fit for a pixie. Danielle cried out with angst, Mommy, none of my clothes can fit me. Looks like the wardrobe elves have been shrinking clothes again, Mom chuckled. Exhausted from trying to hold fate, from trying on old favorites of brightly colored mismatched clothes, Danielle threw on something dull that matched from way back of the closet. It'll have to do, she shrugged. After practicing his jumping multiplication numbers, David peeked over Danielle's shoulder. What are you doing? Danielle was engrossed in her phone. Que es es? Danielle suddenly exclaimed in Spanish. David confused. What did you say? Showing him the app, she replied. Estoy aprendiendo español. Que es es? It means I'm learning Spanish. What are you doing? Oh, that sounds fun. I want to learn how to talk like that too. Invitingly, Danielle waved him in to sit on a seat, to take a seat on her magical carpet as their imaginations traveled through Latin America. After their minds were filled with dozens of new worlds, they took a break to process all they had learned by stretching in yoga poses. I'm a giraffe. I'm a tree. I'm a down dog. Don't poop on me! <laughs> they burst out into laughter. Lured back to reality with a grumbling tummy, David with his nose twitching like a curious rabbit. What's that smell? The aroma lifted them up from the carpet, floating their bodies into the kitchen. The kitchen was alive with vibrant, colorful vegetables and the zing of dancing spices tickling the nose. Bright vegetables lay on the counter with a hovering dust of flour loomed over rising dough in a big bowl. A magical aroma filled the air. Dad, wearing a chef apron, was fixing mise en place for garlic bread and pizza made from scratch. Daddy, I'm hungry, David whined. Good thing I'm making your favorite garlic bread, Dad replied. As Uvo vegans, they didn't eat cheese or meat or f only fruits vegetables and grains. But today, Dad was un David was uncharacteristically curious. His stomach took over his brain when he saw the pizza oozing and bubbling, popping with only juicy red round slices of pepperoni to hold down the cheese. It glistened with the golden crust, bright red sauce, and mix of colorful toppings. Possessed by his stomach, he begged for a bite. Danielle immediately barked, No, David, we're vegan. We don't eat animals. Pepperoni is, a, is little baby piggies. Do you want to eat cute baby piggies? Do you? David thought for a minute, and with a maniacal smile, he exclaimed, But I eat baby chickens, and I love it. David took a tiny bite his eyes widening. It's like spicy, flavorful explosion, he screeched. 
Mom with her fingers in her ears. Danielle, let your brother be. He's curious and shouldn't be afraid to try new things. Besides, when you were five years old, you explored new flavors and foods too. I did? Oh, then does that mean I can try pizza? I mean, I never tried it before, and Daddy always says, if you want to be a good chef, you have to learn to taste everything. She mimicked her dad with a stiff back and a hand in the ear as if holding a pen, lecturing a class in her dad's voice. David stood under his towering sister with his plate lifted in her face. With a sprinkle of courage, Daniel decided to try something new. After dinner, the living room was transformed into a glowing screen-filled gaming arena. Danielle and David's special controllers in hand embarked on virtual adventures, strategizing battles with elemental dragons and thinking their way through logic puzzles to find hidden treasures. Danielle, feeling like a superhero, cheered with excitement from a seemingly never-ending hard-fought boss battle. Finally, it's been weeks. Sometimes I wish games were more about fun and less about struggling. David, with his big muscles, wink, wink, flexed while trying to lift a kettlebell almost as big as his head and gave a triumphant dinosaur roar. Look at my muscles. I'm a strong super saiyan. Danielle cheered. Soon, you'll be lifting mountains. The battle had waged on so long they didn't realize Earth had been tucked in for bed under the starry cover of night. Congratulations, no more learning. Now it's time for bed, kids, said Dad. In their space station bedroom, outside their window was a canvas of star constellations forming patterns and stories of their own. Danielle and David gazed at the sky, feeling the vastness of the universe. Danielle? We sure grew a lot, David whispered. Danielle with stars reflecting in her eyes sighed. Yeah, and we still have a lot more growing to do. The siblings, the siblings hearing the final good night from their parents, waited for the dim rectangular beam around their door to go out. David, it's time. The rectangular beam of light returned with a burst of shimmering rays. The door to their room became a portal to another dimension of adventure, swirling with colors, emitting a soft glow that enticed them to step through. Squeezing each other's hands, they jumped in. Looking back, Danielle stated with confidence, tomorrow we'll discover Amazing new adventures, David repeated. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. The end. Have you ever tried something new and loved it? What was it? What would you do if you discovered you had grown overnight? If you could learn any language, which one would you choose and why? Can you name some foods both vegans and omnivores would enjoy sharing? If you had a portal in your room, where would it lead? Send us the answers to these questions that you might have. We'd love to share them on Wakey Wakey Eggs and Bakey. Thanks for listening. So Ivy, what did you think? That's it, just good? Yeah. Really? That's it? Just... It's good. Okay, that's not very encouraging, but... All right, I, I'll, I'll take the good as a positive. Any thoughts? I don't remember, I'm tired. Oh, you're tired. Okay. Oliver, any thoughts? No, Oliver's already sleeping. Okay, I think he already went to Adventureland.
and you are on your way. All right. Well, I guess time for bed. I'll mm -hmm. I'll take Alvar Alvar's bed. Are you guys sleeping in your bed or in the tent? The tent. Okay. I guess I will teleport Oliver to the tent. And I guess you can teleport yourself. Okay. Like and two pages of videos. Subscribe and share. What was that? Subscribe and share. Ow.